guys, today I'm going to be going over how I make some RC diesel um, for my RC engines. Uh, for this case, I have this McCoy Duroblow, and it is a diesel engine. So I'll show you how I make my mix and see if hopefully this will help anybody else. Uh, so for starters, I'll go down the line. I use uh, castor oil. I also use satane, ether, a little bit of uh, kerosene, and then I've got a series of different beakers and containers to be able to get the right measurements and uh, some PPE. All right, for this mix, we'll need 40% ether, 25% castor oil, 35% kerosene, and 2% cetane. So I'm going to start off by measuring out the castor oil. My goal today is going to be to make 100 milliliters. So I'm going to use this beaker here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take and measure it out until we get... 25% castor oil. That'll be 25 milliliters. Just a little bit more. So that's 25 milliliters of castor oil. Next, I'm going to use the starting fluid to get 40 milliliters of starting fluid. The way I do it is just spray directly in here um, until I get my measurement. So if we're at 25, we're going to add 40% 40, 40 ether. That should take us all the way up to 65 milliliters. We're almost at 60. We're at 65 right now. So now we're going to go ahead and add the kerosene. So if we're at 65, we need to get to, we need to add 35% kerosene. That'll take us to 100 milliliters. So 
as I'm getting closer, I'm going to go ahead and use this little dropper. That way I can make sure that I don't exceed 35% kerosene. All right, so that's 35% kerosene right now, and we're sitting at 100% of our mixture. Now I know you guys are gonna be asking, what about the cetane? Well, for RC, after reading and doing some research, um, it, it's actually uh, more than just 100%, it's actually 102%, that's how it works in the RC world. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out 2%, so that's going to be 2 milliliters. And using this little beaker here, I'll go ahead and pour this cetane until I get to 2 milliliters. Get rid of the excess. And this right here is two milliliters of cetane. Go ahead and mix it in here. Make sure all of it gets in there. I'm going to use this empty container where I'm going to store the fuel and using my funnel I'll go ahead and pour in my mixture which is 40% ether, 25% castor oil, 35% kerosene, and 2% cetane. Now that castor oil is pretty thick, it's going to take a while for it to go down. What I like to do is, once I put this in here, I'll go ahead and shake it, and then I'll put some of it back inside of the beaker and kind of swish it around a little bit to see if I can get that remaining castor oil back in here. I'll shake it around to get everything mixed in well. When you open it up, you make you want to make sure that you kind of vent it a little bit because it will be pressurized. kind of swish it around a little bit see if you can get that remaining castor oil back inside the container all right There you have it guys, if you need to make uh, any diesel for your RC engines, here are some instructions on how to create it. And just to recap, that's 40% ether, 25% castor oil, 35% kerosene, and 2% cetane. Alright, so I went ahead and already put some of this fuel inside the tank. I'm going to go ahead and prime the engine. 